Welcome to Tech Talks by Preet. I'm Ruben Arevalo. Today, we're gonna to talk about our Omega Torque Wrench. Reason we're gonna be talking about our Omega Torque Wrench is because it's a fantastic tool, but our technical department has been receiving a number of calls about how is the tool used and adjusted, and also after use, how do we disassemble the tool, clean it, lubricate it, and sterilize it for the next use. So the first thing I like to show is how we can adjust the torque value on the Omega Torque Wrench. So the Omega Torque Wrench is designed to be adjustable from 15 Newton centimeters all the way to 35 Newton centimeters. And there's a reason for that. So for implant screws like multi-unit abutment, prosthetic screws, and also healing abutments, they require 15 Newton centimeters for torque. And so that's why that's the low value on the torque wrench. Some of the other implant systems, the prosthetic screws require up to 35 Newton centimeters. So that's why that's the maximum value setting on this tool. So if we wanted to adjust the torque value, you can see on the tool, the torque setting is written on the shank. It's the torque settings are at 15, 20, 25, 30 and 35 Newton centimeters. And there's a line on the shake indicating that torque value setting. And you can see on the adjustable handle, there's a cutout that's highlighted Newton centimeters. And on either side of that cutout, there are two lines. So all you're gonna do is turn this tool down to your torque value setting. So if you're adjusting it to 15 Newton centimeters, you turn the handle till the 15 Newton centimeter line is in the middle of the two lines on the handle. Two other features on the tool that are highlighted. On the tool, you have a side that reads in and out on the opposite side. You want the in writing facing you as you're torquing an implant screw down. If you wanted to retrieve an implant screw, you're simply gonna flip over the tool and you wanna make sure the outside uh, wording is facing you as you're removing the screw. So after you use the Omega Torque Wrench, it's time to disassemble the tool and disinfect the tool. To disassemble the tool, you'll see in the packaging, there's an Allen key. You're simply gonna use that Allen key to unthread the handle, and you'll be able to remove the spring inside of the tool, and there you're gonna see there's another hex key. That hex key will be used on the outside of the tool. Simply gonna see there's a screw there. You're gonna unthread that screw and you'll be able to remove the remaining components of the torque wrench to be able to disinfect them individually. After you've disinfected each individual component, you're gonna clean each individual component. And as you reassemble the torque wrench, you're gonna lubricate the torque wrench in two areas. You're gonna lubricate the torque wrench where the ratchet wheel contacts the ratchet, as well as when you're gonna place the spring back into the tool, you're gonna lubricate the very end of the spring. Now that the tool is fully assembled, you're gonna sterilize the tool using recommended industry standard sterilization, and now your tool is ready for its next use. That's our Omega Torque Wrench. Thank you for sending in your inquiries. Join us next time on Tech Talks.